Hi, I'm Troy with uh, Trek Tech, here to tell you about the Trek Tech Trek Pod. Basically, it's a Swiss Army knife. Um, it is a hiking staff monopod with hands-free capability. So it's going to start out its life as a very rugged, very sturdy trekking pole. You can go anywhere in the world with this thing. Um, it has two points of adjustability right here with a compression joint and right here with a compression joint to a stop line. Okay, so now you're in monopod mode anywhere you want to go. You take the shot, mount your camera, and get a shot. Lots of times you might need uh, hands-free flexibility or additional stability that a tripod offers. If you undo the Velcro strap on the bottom, three legs will pop out and it gives you hands-free capability. All right, so there's, uh, this whole thing is sold as a kit designed to travel anywhere in the world. The ball head is a ball head and a quick release system. You swing the trek lock to the side, you take off the palm rest, and you have a little mag adapter from the bottom of the camera, and you'll see these ridges here. You line this up. This is a neodymium rare earth magnet. Very strong holding power, but uh, a low magnetic field. So that's the first hold. You can see how very strong the hold is, but that's just the first hold. You line that up, the teeth lock in, you swing the trek lock shut, and now it's mechanically attached to the camera. When you come down into portrait mode, because those teeth have limed up, even with a longer lens, you're not going to get that lens creep down. Okay, so this uh, you can accessorize this. When you buy the kit, you get a lot of ex uh, di different accessories that allow you to have a ton of different shots. One of the most popular accessories that comes with it is something called the Optimount. And this is a very simple C-clamp that you can move up and down anywhere on the tripod. If you put it down in this low area, you can bring your camera down. And when you mount it down low, you can swing the lock out, put the camera on, lock it into place, and now you've got great either tabletop work or macro work out in the field. It's very easy to chase that bee or that butterfly from flower to flower. You can just move it right into place wherever you might need. You're only limited by your own creativity of all the different shots you can get in this kind of setup. The ball head is a 14 pound ball head and uh, downward pressure easily up to 15 15 pounds of downward pressure. Okay. Another accessory you'll get with the kit is the teapot. Now the teapot is probably one of the world's most durable little tabletop tripods. Okay. It spins off and you can take the ball head and mount it down here and now actually shoot at ground level, grass level. It's really lots of flexibility with a piece like this. The top of the teapot also operates as an extension. So if you bring the trek pod up as high as it'll go, lock it into place, you can use the extension, and then you bring the ball head up to the top. And so if you're shooting on elevate or, uh, uh, elevated ground, or slope ground, you can have the camera mounted the whole way up here. If you're shooting at a sporting event, you can be up on a platform, something to get up over the crowd. So lots of flexibility in how it's used. The beauty of this whole product is how quickly it all comes apart. It's designed for the traveler, traveling photographer, um, anybody who wants to go farther, do more, and carry less. When you buy it, it all comes in this kit. The ball head will get placed right in there. The teapot will put together and whoops, live right there. The collapse the two pieces here. You take off the opti mount. And that lives right here, and you have one section that comes apart, and the legs pop off, 
that goes in here, and the rest of the teapot goes right in here, and all of it folds up and comes in a travel case, sling it over your shoulder, go anywhere in the world with it. One final accessory that comes along with it is this little leg mount adapter. So you can take the leg assembly piece, screw this right on, and now you have yet another tripod for tabletop. If you're out in the field, big spotting scope, something larger, you can use the top part of the teapot as well for additional flexibility. Mount this right here. Put the ball head on, and then you have that arrangement. So, stability on the go, go farther, do more, carry less. That's what the TrekPod is designed to do.